Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. It's time for Game Week 30 preparation. Now before we get on to that week, let's have a quick look at Game Week 29 and see how well my team did for that week. And as you can see, my final point is 54 uh, minus the 4 points, that's going to be 50. So it is above the average of 46. I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get... Um, you know, higher than this, um, obviously the four point hit did hurt a little bit, but I was just trying to prepare myself for the blank games uh, for game week 31. So this was my team for game week 29. As you can see, Luis Ingo give me seven points. Man, since I bought him um, from that like, double game week uh, for Spurs, he has done really, really well. He's given me them consistent six, seven points. Uh, I know it's not around 10 to 15, uh, but it's still giving them consistent points. As you can see, he's like lost five, five games, one, two, three, four clean sheets. It's just doing really, really well for me. Uh, Automated with clean sheet, got me that six points. Um, against Chelsea, Chelsea didn't really attack that much. I know they had that really good chance right at the end with Alonso. But still, Otamendi didn't really have that much to do. Uh, Manchester just controlled the game so well. Uh, Van Dijk turned out well. Um, six points. He still looked threatening in the air. Um, so I'm pretty sure that soon he's going to start scoring. I, I think we just need at least one goal from him from, um, from the remaining um, games. Cresswell with three. He, his team conceded four goals, right? And he's got three points. As you can see, he actually got me an assist. Now, I didn't really check the highlights. I don't know how he got it. Maybe he took a corner or something or cross. I'm not 100% sure. But if he's going to be giving me these um, assists, he's got six assists already with seven clean sheets. That's not a bad return. I think if he was a little bit more cheaper, then he would have been amazing. That would have been so good. Um, but yeah, I, I got no issues with um, like getting rid of him. I, I think I'm just going to just keep him for a little bit more longer. Um, his fixtures, Burnley at home and then after obviously the blank and then uh, Southampton. On and off, they got they got a few good ones but maybe towards the end he might need to go after when I start um, using my wild card. Uh, Lingard with two and uh, didn't do much but at the end, um, you know, he looked a little bit threatening but yeah, it wasn't enough for him. Um, Shakiri with free, uh, he has done well. I'm not going to complain because look, he has given me this lovely um, free goals in a row, which is quite amazing. Um, to be honest with you, he helped me so much. Three points. So I bought in Walcott because of the game week 31. There's going to be a lot of blank games, and Everton has got game um, for game week 31 against Stoke away. Um, he had a lot of chances to score. He messed up a lot of chances as well. But there is a possibility for him to get a lot of goals very, very soon. Next up, we got Salah. I put him as my captain. And he did the work. Again, scored a goal. Um, got that. I think he's got that. Is that a clean sheet point? Yep, as well. Perfect with lovely eight. Uh, he just doesn't get that bonus points, which is quite a shame because he could have he, he could have got a lot of points. And look at... He is in a goal streak, man. He is scoring so many goals. 24 goals already with 10 assists. That's just incredible. Um, so, yeah, I think a lot of people put him as, as, as their captain. And why not? Uh, he's going to do well. So, yeah, 16 points. Uh, Wilson didn't really do much uh, for Bournemouth. A bit bit disappointed that he's, like, he's in my team. I'm going to hold him a little bit more longer because for game week 31, I think he's really, really dragging my team down. I think him and maybe Lingard is hurting my team a lot. And Agro with two, um, didn't you know get onto the score sheet. That's not a problem. You know he does that sometimes, so it's not a problem. And Firmino, um, you know I think he's got an assist, right? Yeah, he got that assist with five points. So pretty decent. Um, wasn't the best game week for me, but it was a good amount. I got my captaincy right, which 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 helped. And uh, a lot of my um, defenders here bought me them lovely lovely points. Uh, obviously, my bench, Elliot, Kenny, um, Sterling was injured, so I just put him in a bench. I, I think he should like, he should come back, but we just need to check for the Champions League games and see what's going on. And and I bought in Shinda. I, I think I butchered his name, but uh, he is a Huddersfield um, defender. 
um, he's 4.6 and the only reason why I bought him in is because he's got home game against Swansea he's got home game against Crystal Palace and the most important bit obviously for game week 31 um, so there's no blank game weeks for them and after that I can still keep him on um, against Newcastle and a Brighton and a Watford so there there's pretty damn decent um, fixtures there for for a very cheap defender I know it's hard as well I know they can see a lot of goals but still uh, there's a possibility so this is this was one of my reasons why I bought him in and uh, yeah I mean that's my team uh, let's go to game week 30 and see what I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm not gonna talk about too much about the double um, like double game weeks in the future and stuff like that uh, or game week 31 stuff so I'm just gonna quickly go through it briefly because I spoke about that a lot on my live stream in my last video um, but yeah I'm gonna give you guys a little update of what I'm gonna be doing and my plan and then yeah we'll see what happens so far this is my setup uh this is going to change i'm pretty sure at the end of the week um but for now this is what i'm going to go with um now the plan is if no one gets injured if everyone's fine i, I want to make no transfers now there is a little like i'm a bit trigger happy so i i, I do want to make maybe one maybe one transfer maybe bring in a like a, a player from from Chelsea maybe like William um, which is pretty damn cheap and like for Sterling or something because against Crystal Palace uh, they, they should do well um, so that's the only player that I'm thinking to bring um, for now so it's still early days there's still Champions League to be played so there's, there's a lot of things that's gonna be happening um, and if I do bring William it will be just for Sterling but I, I think I should just hold on for my transfer and when it comes to um, game week 31 let me just quickly show you guys what will happen for game week 31 so he won't be playing nope no no um, no 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 so the ones that I, I've removed are they're not gonna, that that team and that player is not going to be playing for game week 31 and as you can see there's only a few games here like Liverpool against Watford, Stoke, Everton, Huddersfield, Crystal Palace, Bournemouth and West Brom. So I do have a decent amount so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now if we remove Kenny because Coleman is back, that's 7. Um, I would I would like I would like at least one goalkeeper that plays for um, game week 31 and uh, like I don't want to get rid of a girl Otamendi I could get rid of this um, I, I could get rid of um, Cresswell so maybe I could just bring some defenders in there I got no problem or maybe I can get rid of Lingard but then who would I bring there's no great option here um, I could probably get rid of a Linga later on. So, I mean, if we look at the the following um, fixtures, like for game week 32, like Liverpool, I've got a lot of Liverpool players. i got Brighton. No, I don't have Brighton. What, what am I saying Brighton for? Oh, no, i got a Huddersfield, not Brighton. Um, like I've got Manchester United, so I've got Lingard playing against Swansea. I've got Huddersfield against Newcastle. Um, Bournemouth, Watford. So I, just, I got players here that is like I got like Manchester City against Everton, and uh, I mean I I I, I can I'll I'll, feel, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I mean, um, but we'll we'll see what happens. I once I find out. So this is the thing. Once I find out the double game weeks, I'm pretty sure a lot of people knows more than me. Once I find out the double game weeks, if it's around. Like let's just say the double game week is 34, right? Because a lot of people are talking about 34 double game week. If it is, then I'm just gonna, you know, use my wild cards like for game week 32 or 33, and I start bringing in players. Um, obviously, bringing players for game week 31 and onwards, um, 34 and onwards. So that's that's the plans. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna think about it too much because if you do that, then you're just gonna, I don't know, it's just gonna mess up. Ooh, okay guys um so yeah this is going to be my team um defenders here so Lloris against Bournemouth um Swansea at home for Huddersfield Stoke away 
and uh, Cresswell against um, Burnley at home. So pretty damn good fixtures uh, for the back. Um, Lingard is a big player, so he pl he plays really well against big teams. Um, Shakiri could get something here, but Manchester is just too strong. Here we go. What um, Walcott against Brighton at home. This is the one that I'm gonna like hope. Like I'm just gonna hope that he um, Walcott can get something here. I, I would love it. Um, Wilson, I can't see him do anything. I could even bench him and put um, Van Dijk. I can see, I can see like uh, a clean sheet here for Liverpool. I don't know, man. I, I don't think it's just difficult to call right now. Um, so yeah, this week is actually really, it's going to be really poor. Um, but I just hope Walcott and some of my defenders do well. Then I could probably just get around the average. And that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have my captaincy on a go. I'm gonna see what happens in the Champions League. If if he plays full 90 minutes, maybe I might not go for a go. I might just go for someone like Walcott. I'll just go for something different. You know, just go for something crazy. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. Um, I am thinking to you know do some live streaming very soon. Maybe like Thursday, maybe Friday before the games. But, um, yeah, you guys let me know if you like that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys got any suggestions, like, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. I'm all here to, like, help and give some kind of advice. I'm not the best player in the world, but I'm trying to get there. Trying to get to that, um, I don't know, 300,000 or maybe below than that. I'll be really, really happy for this season. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, come give this video a like. Come subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.